Zombie Apocalypse. <laughs> two-player pong game on scratch so um i have a few sprites here so i have a sprite called pong one and it's literally just a pong um that thing on the bob and then i have another one it's called pong two and i literally just flipped it and all of my sprites are centered so make sure all of your sprites are centered too so all the Okay, scratch, you just crash. All right. Um, okay. And I have a ball. It's literally a ball. And I have this sprite called left sensor. It doesn't matter what color they are and right sensor. They're both the same thing. And I have three backdrops. Normal, and then player one wins, and player two wins, and they're called left and right. All right. So... This is a little mini series I'm starting. Um, before we get into the video, I just want to tell you guys this: that this is a mini series I'm starting, and it's where I teach you how to make a bunch of games in literally one video. So, uh, each game will only take one video instead of like part one, part two, part three. Um, so I just want you, I just wanted you guys, and I just wanted to let you guys know that. Okay, so in Pong One, we want to uh, do when green flag clicked. Before, well, okay, no. Before that, let's program the ball. Um, we can do when green flag clicked, uh, switch backdrop to normal, and then we can do, um, so let's give it a cool effect. So let's do repeat three times, and then inside that, repeat seven times, and then we can change brightness effect by 10 and then we duplicate that and then do negative 10 and so you guys can see how cool of an effect that gives and then over here we can do point in direction and then we can do pick random 1 through 3 6 and then so that'll just make it start off at a random position direction and then we can do repeat until um touching well first of all let's get a or um <clears throat> and then we can do repeat until touching pong one i'm mean, not not pong one uh left sensor and right i don't know why i didn't call it right sensor Called it right, but uh, it is what it is, and then we're going to do until touching left sensor and right sensor, and then we are going to do move 10 steps. Boom! So, there, and you can see that that's just terrible. So, we can add an if on edge bounce, and oh, wait, we gotta add a go to zero zero. That's not very important, also. I just want to let you guys know that since I made pixel art in Scratch, it's extremely tiny. So I have to set the size to something humongous. So the ball is 800, Pong 1 and Pong 2 are 1000. And these I made in vector art because it really doesn't matter what they are as long as they're just giant squares, uh, giant rectangles that go all the way across the screen. Um, yeah. And so. After that, our ball physics are basically done, and you can see that when they touch that, it does. Yeah. Okay, and we can add a point direction 90 at the top, so it'll, it'll, um, always start at a, a normal position. Also, uh, we can do if, uh, well, this just needs to be inside of a forever loop. So when green flag clicked forever, and then if touching, touching, pong one, right? Then we need to point.
point in direction. Pick random. <clears throat> 90 to 360. Well, no, 90 to 180. And so, is it even going to touch it? Okay, yeah, it will. And you can see it bounced back off. And then we can duplicate that for palm 2. But we need to make this negative 90. Boom. And so, now let's just, let's make, wait, also, over here, let's broadcast a message, um, called start, go, and so over here, we can do one green flag click, and go to a good position, I already set, set them to a position that I want them to be in, so go to like a position that's like in the corner and well no on the left of the screen and then uh we can also i forgot to do the set size thingy so over here in the ball set size to 800 so in palm one we set size to a thousand and then we do when i receive start forever if key up arrow press then we change y by 10. uh i want it to be seven because i don't want it to be too fast and then down arrow key press <clears throat> we'll change by but we change y by negative seven and now we can't move um <clears throat> until the ball is done doing that cool loady thingy <clears throat> and all right, so this is going to, I'm literally gonna duplicate this right into Pong 2. And uh, um, I'm also going to duplicate that into Pong 2, but I'm going to change the position. And in Pong 1, I'm gonna change it to W and S. So it's W, A, S, D, T. Um, uh okay so uh we have our w a s d keys and our arrow keys right there so you can see that that is a very weird bug oh wait no that's because it touched the okay no, it's not a bug. and uh, um over here when it touches wait if touching phone okay yeah. if touching left sensor or right sensor do that okay and then under that we do um if touching wait let's put it in there if touching left sensor then we switch backdrop to right and because if it's touching this then we want the right player to win and then we can stop all oh. And then we duplicate that to if touching right, then we switch back up to left. And now you can see that it works. Um, okay, the ball was a weird trajectory, trajectory there. Okay, so we have all of that done, okay? But we gotta make these ugly looking blue lines hide. And they, they just make the whole game look terrible. So, what we should do is, um, when green flag clicked, and then we can make them go to those positions, and set, and set, <coughs> ghost effect, to 99.999. So, someone commented on one of my videos that, if you set the ghost effect of something to 99.99, it's going to be hidden, but you can still interact with it. So all the blue lines are gone, but if the ball touches them, then it will do that. Also, here we can add a weight, one second. And what we can do is, do here 
Um, where should you start? Okay, wait. we can do that. And so it'll say player two wins. Wait, and then over here, also broadcast left lose and then over here we can broadcast right lose and then we can do if left when i receive left lose hide and when i receive right lose also hide and then we can put that in pong too um boom and so if someone loses Oh my god, I'm trying to lose, but I can't lose. I'm, okay, there. Player 2 wins. There. Alright, so, this, I would say, is very, oh wait. Never mind, we gotta add a show at the beginning. Of both of them, Pong 2 and Pong 1. Alright, so, guys, this, I would say, is a completed game. And, we did it in one video, so. Yeah, what? just bounced off the edge there uh what please back broadcast right lose wait it can't it doesn't tell what um would it it just never does Excuse me? It, it, wait, what happened to it? Where is it? Oh, it's also, okay. We gotta change that to 246, okay. Um, right, if I set this to zero, it was on top of the other one, okay. Sorry about that, guys, okay. Um, uh, all right, but now you can see it, can, it works. Um, and yeah, all right. So guys, that is it from, for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will see you guys next time. So peace.